hi everyone so we're here welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're stopping by my channel for the first time you're very welcome and if you're a returning subscriber i celebrate you so in today's video we're going to be doing bridal makeup transformation so stay tuned and watch this video to the very end first thing first i go in with wipes to remove the excess oil on her face next i go in with the kcd spray to spray her face before primer and next i go in with primer dk primer to prep her face for a long lasting makeup a smooth and long lasting makeup next i go in with foundation in the shade even true foundation dk even true foundation in the shade 015 sorry make sure your beauty blender is damp your beauty blender has to be damp hmm. see what this glamour junior wanted to do makeup and she joined us for the makeup so she was just telling at the camera like what what is she doing what does she know about makeup then to highlight the middle of her face i go in with dk skin fit concealer in the shade 03 and dk second skin concealer in the shade creamy avil i use the same beauty blender i use in blending her foundation when it comes to bridal makeup do not do not rush you take your time always take your time okay so that your your makeup will come out flawless looking smooth without cracks okay then to highlight to contour to contour her nose i go in with dk powder palette to contour her nose and the brush i'm using the angle brush i'm using is dk angle brush hmm. guys i'm so excited for 874 subscribers it's on it's possible because of you guys and you guys have made me so proud so happy the channel is growing we're getting to we're getting to our milestones so i'm so 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 happy it's only you guys that made it possible because i cannot subscribe to my channel but you guys did for my returning views i really appreciate my returning viewers you are so amazing and i celebrate each and every one of you so to for blush i go in with golip this palette is so amazing this palette i so much love it dk are not playing no dk is not smiling like their new product is so 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 amazing especially this palette look at that look at the cheek look at how the blush just came out it's so amazing and it's very pigmented i love it i love 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 it so to set the rest of her face i go in with the same palette i've been using earlier to i use earlier to contour her nose to set the rest of her face like i said when it comes to bridal makeup you can't miss anything like you need to take your time and for a bridal makeup you have to although setting powder to bake is not for everybody if your bride has oily skin please make sure you set her face but don't set her face if your bride doesn't have have a dry skin okay for baking is mainly for people with oily skin don't bake when your bride have or anybody you are doing makeup have a dry skin okay like this my mother she have oily skin so i have to bake her face to be able to remove help me minimize the oily skin okay so the makeup will come out looking flawless and then i go in with got to be edge control for a brighter makeup you need to keep the hair in place and you need to keep the brows all day so i go in with the edge control to keep the hair in place but please allow the the, the gel to dry before lining the brows okay so the 
then after that you use certain powder on the brow so the brows will last longer you'll be able to draw it will not be sleepy okay and then to moving on to the eyeshadow make sure you set your eyelid first before applying any eyeshadow okay so the eyeshadow we are using today is the Lihia eyeshadow i will list all the products i use down my description box i don't know if i'm correct with the pronunciation but i will list all the product i use down my description box and the first transition shade i use coffee brown and the second transition shade is sea brown but a lighter brown then to to blend the edges i go in with a yellow tone shade next the eyeshadow i used is elegant eyeshadow palette a nude elegant eyeshadow palette and your make sure your eyeshadow brushes are fluffy i use it too i switch to the same eyeshadow palette i use the get eyeshadow palette i used earlier to be able to achieve this pinkish eyeshadow i have to mix pink and cream color together to be able to achieve this kind of pink eyeshadow okay so to line her waterline i go in with zaron eye pencil for liquid liner i go in with decay liquid liner and you don't need a wing liner for a bride okay just do normal eyeliner because you don't need your bride to be dramatic your bride needs to look very beautiful but not dramatic okay then i go in with mascara to remove the fall off of eyeshadow make sure you do this so that when you fix lashes the eyeshadow color the color of eyeshadow will not be showing under the lashes okay i go in with the same gullip i use for i use earlier for her cheek blush and contour to line her lips i'm using the coffee brown shade this palette guys hmm, this gully palette this decay new palette is so amazing please try it though you will thank me later it's so amazing can you see the pigment can you see how the colors came out and next i go in with decay L mm, sorry this is not decay girl lip palette okay i use many and this is another of decay new lipstick is matte though but take your time in blending i will add gloss on it too so to dust the bake i go in with the care the part the powder palette i used earlier to dust to set the rest of her face okay then to add shine to her makeup i go or glue to her makeup i go in with zaron bronzer see how beautiful this bride is looking <sighs> i'm speechless can you see this she's looking so gorgeous she's looking so beautiful this will be it for me today let me know what you think about this look at the comment section until next time keep polishing the diamond in you